What's going on everyone? Hope one's doing really well. Today we're here in New York flying to Wichita, Kansas. Three hours and 30 minutes up in the air, 43,000 feet. It's gonna be a great flight. One quick thing, my friend Bradley, who's a big fan of the channel in Southern California, uh, said, Max, can you please show the interior of Turomia Foxha? So today, Bradley, you got it, and everyone who I'm sure wanted to see what the inside of Turomia Fox looks like, today's your day. Here's the interior tour on November to Romeo Foxtrot. She does look great. Um, we got the interior, the four seats here, two back there. Got the pillows for Citation Dad and Mom. Got the window lines there. Kind of come back here, we got storage here and kind of keep bags there. We have the uh, life raft for Bermuda operations. More storage back here and then we have the famous Turamia Fox toilet, which is right there. We got the flusher, do your business in there, and then it comes into a basically a, uh, a tin here, and you basically manually have to pop it open, and then you go and dispose it of yourself. So it's not external, externally serviceable. I guess you could consider this the economy seat on Turamia Fox, because there is a seat belt there, so people can sit on here uh, safely and legally. But uh, that is the... Uh, that is the interior on November 2 Romeo Foxtrot, so I hope everyone enjoyed it. everyone welcome on board hope everyone's doing well let's uh, head to Wichita Kansas one here we go and two oil pressure induce the fuel there's ignition light off Out. That's a good GPU. I'd say Ross have just great GPUs here with planes. Alright, that's good. And two. Alright. And two. Oil pressure. Introduce the fuel. So we're just taking that from the off detent to the idle detent and that introduces the fuel. Good rotation, good acceleration. Relays out. Shout out to Buzz Muffs. You guys can see that. We got the greased it. We love it. Good flight controls. I'm up, down, free, and correct. Speed brake check. Good. Rush to ground. Good. Morning citation. Two Romeo Fox at Rossi's taxi, please. X ray. Taste Romeo Fox, West Western Ground, uh, good afternoon, runway 34, taxi via Alpha Cross, runway 29 or 8 is Yankee, okay? Okay, we'll get Yankee, 34, via Alpha, clear across runway 29 or citation, 2 Romeo Fox Drive. All right, here we go. Ground, good morning, Gulf Stream, 755, Victor Echo, signature West, Yankee, ready taxi. Stream 755, Victor Echo, West Western Ground, hey, good clear afternoon, left. runway 34, right. taxi via Kilo Lima. Via Kilo Lima to 34 for 755, Victor Echo. See you, dude. All right, taxi lights coming on. Here we go. Okay, three, four via Alpha and clit across runway two niner. It is no tamp close. So that is good. And here we go. Got some taxiway closures, so we're just kind of going left of the center line here until we can get back on that center line. Yeah, busy day, got a lot of jets coming out of here. Alright, taxi checks, brakes, feel good. Lights are good. Nose wheel steering is moving, turn cord is moving. And rudder bias. Is good. Is 
is good. PCI Mobile Cross, Texas Bay Fox Alright, so we're clear to cross the runway. We'll always just, even if it's closed, we'll do a clear left and a clear right. Put the lights on. Yeah, it's a gusty day here. The uh, We'll get Adis Yankee here in one second once we do cross the runway. Those down, we'll do a new request on the eight car system for our departure ATIS. Got a nice, beautiful little Cirrus coming in. Love flying GA still and love flying the Cirrus, great airplane. Nice, oh, little, little gusty there. All right, you got Yankee. That looks good. Uh, 330 at 12, gust 21, a little sporty out of here. 10 miles visibility, few clouds at 2,500 feet. Temperature one, minus uh, one three on the dew point, three zero. Zero eight. Cheer up, me a Fox says Yankee going to tower. Be good. My Fox contact tower. Have a go. Yeah, we'll see you. Thanks. Clear to go. One way. Three four five zero. Pop jelly. Citation. Cheer up, me a Fox. Shots up. Holding short. Three four alpha side. Cheer up, me Fox. Roger. All right. Set the port. Uh, right base. Zero six eight. All right, we're finally getting to number one of the runway. Very busy, uh, busy morning here. At White Plains, definitely great to see the traffic levels all back. And it's been uh, every—I feel like every airport I've been recently has just been been crazy busy. So we're on the uh, Westchester Seven departure today. Uh, I briefed it earlier, but uh, just show you guys uh, what it looks like here. It's a uh, fly runway heading to a thousand feet. And then uh, at a thousand feet, we'll make a left turn heading 295, and that's going to be uh, radar vectors to our first fix. So we'll just fly that 295 heading until they tell us. Two run me a Fox Tower, West Coast Tower, wind 31017, runway 34, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 34, citation to Romeo Fox Tower. All right, clear left, clear right. Everything else is completed. Here we go. Okay. Coming on, heat some lights, get the map up, and let's go. 3 4 is the runway. Stable, take off. Takeoff power is set and achieved. Two good engines, airspeeds alive, both sides. 70 knot checks. B1, rotate. Yep, she wants to fly today. Pause and rate, gear's coming up. V2 plus 10 knots, flaps up, yaw damper, flight level change. There's a gain of about 10 knots. Climb power, 1,000 feet, start that turn. Victor Echo's holding short of uh, three four. Thousand to go. Two Romeo Fox Air contact departure. Departure twenty point eight two Romeo Fox. A gain of about ten knots at about a thousand feet. We'll see ya. Gain of ten thousand. Thank you. Yep. Thousand. Hey New York, how you doing? Citation to Romeo Fox. Twenty six hundred. Climb into three thousand Westchester. Two Romeo Fox. Turn left. Two seven zero. Climb to seven thousand. Your radar contact. 270 heading, 7,000, Termio Fox. Here we go. 468, November, radar contact, 15 west of Westchester, showing you 2,000, altimeter 3009. Autopilot's coming on, heading select, heading. Yes. Uh, 3009, November. 468, November, what's your type aircraft? Uh, Cessna 182, 4468, November. 68, November, flighting 110, correction, turn right heading 120, back to the ILS. Flight level change. 120, 4468, November. Out cap. 
278 to 7,000. New York 8 to 698 to 1,500, requesting 5,500 when able. 2 Romeo Fox, departure 20.4. 20.4, citation to Romeo Fox, shut, see ya. Yep. And I've turned left heading 230, find a 1, 2, 12,000. 230 heading 1, 2,000, Spirit Wing 705. Hey, New York, how you doing? Citation to Romeo Fox, shut 6,300, climbing to 7,270 heading. To Romeo Fox, climb to 1, 0, 10,000. Climb to 1, 0, 10,000, to Romeo Fox, shot. All right, 10,000 feet, here we go. So we got to maintain 250 knots below 10,000 feet. That's why uh, you'll see on that departure at a white plane, you got to do a couple things. Below uh, in the class Delta, you're restricted to 200 knots. So that's why you're bringing the power back super quick. Below 10,000 feet, 250 knots or less. So you're, this plane has so much juice in it, you just got to bring the power back quite a bit. To Romeo Fox, find a one five thousand. Come to one five thousand to Romeo Fox, John. All right, here we go. It's cold out, minus twelve on the ISA. We're going to be put. To Romeo Fox, departure one two zero eight five. Take care. Thanks so much. Twenty eighty five to Romeo Fox. See you. Hello, good night. Direct departure, good afternoon, citation, to Romeo Fox, shot 13, 8, climbing to 1, 5, 000, 270, heading. To Romeo Fox, shot, New York, departure, roger, proceed direct to Zims. Direct Zims, citation, to Romeo Fox, shot. Zims, nav, FMS, checks, direct Zims. Leveling at 15, looking good. Going to the cruise detent. And to Romeo Fox, shot, what's your normal speed going to be? Uh, level about 275, and the climb about... Uh, we can hold 250 until probably uh, mid 20s, and then it's uh, about 220. All right, no problem. Thanks. Yeah, so hope everyone's doing well. We're heading to Wichita, Kansas today. The uh, plane is going in for its uh, big engine one and two uh, checks. So, um, Textron and the whole team there have been super awesome at the service center. So, not on this video, but on a video coming up, uh, we'll definitely have that footage hopefully for you, so you guys can see kind of what an inspection's like and what a uh, what a service center does when these used airplanes go in for for an inspection. Uh, the inspection takes about a week or so, so not. Thirty-two one, Romeo Fox, have a great day. You too, thanks. So about a week or so, um, it's a good amount of labor, but the team at Wichita does a great job, so I'll pick it up in about a week. 3287, the United is uh, 414, good day. New York Center, good afternoon, citation. 2 Romeo Fox, shot 165, coming at 17,000, direct Zim. 2 Romeo Fox, uh, rather. Cool. All right, leveling at 17. Still amazing to me, you know, where up here at 17,000 feet, what we're burning, what we had to bring the power back here a little bit, but what, 850 pounds aside, so at 1,700 pounds uh, total. And you know, you go to 43,000 feet and you're burning. Two Romeo Foxtrot, climb the flight level 430. Climb and maintain 430 to Romeo Foxtrot, thank you. Um, you know, 800 pounds total, so it's just, it's just nuts how efficient these airplanes are up high and how you know, not so efficient, you know, just jets are in general uh, down low. All right, 15, uh, 43,000 feet is set. So right now we're showing uh, three hours and 16 minutes to, uh, to Wichita. 18,000 feet will go standards and standards. Center Brigade 45, 57, 15, three common, one, 7,000, drink sims. Brigade 45, 57, London. If, uh, if you're on Instagram, I do have an Instagram account, uh, Citation Max, and number one, because there's only one Citation Max. So uh, if you're on Instagram, please go over that to my account and uh, give it a follow. I've said it like a million times that we do daily vlogs and kind of more up-to-date stories and stuff. And uh, the videos have obviously been a little bit behind schedule. We're running a few months behind. So if you want to see where I am on more of a day-to-day -day basis and what I'm up to, uh, definitely go over to Instagram and uh, go to Citation Max 1 and give it a follow. All right, so we're climbing up, looking good. I mean, it's cold out. We're 3,500 feet per minute, and we're just eh, a little bit now. It's dropping, but 260 knots. So that's 
Looking good. New York, good morning, Gulfstream. Set by five, Big Jericho with you level one seven thousand. All right, I think it's going to get pretty boring for the next uh, three hours or so before we make our approach into Wichita. So uh, turn off the cameras, and we'll talk to everyone in a little bit. Alrighty, we're back. It's been a pretty uh, silky smooth flight so far. Just at about 30,000 feet. Uh, currently 100 miles from uh, touchdown in Wichita, about 19 minutes or so. Just got the switch to Kansas City Center, so let's uh, go ahead and check in with them. Kansas City Center, good afternoon. Citation to Romeo Foxtrot 29.6, sending 240. It's two runway fast track and city center load. Center maintain one zero thousand. The Wichita altimeter two nine four four. All right, two nine four four. The center maintain one zero ten thousand. Citation to Romeo Fox Two nine four four. Wow. All right, twenty nine forty four. So I know I've got a, quite a few comments, people saying, why do you have both of them uh, not sync to each other, the, the altimeter? So if I set 2945 here, I'd have to go, then go here and set 2945, but I have switched it. So now if I just do it here, it automatically syncs to there. So I've been kind of watching the weather uh, the past couple hours, and the winds are picking up quite a bit. It's uh, Last time I checked, it was gusting 36. So it's going to be a little bit of a sporty arrival. All right, so ATIS is 2515, so we can basically do that all in the uh, in these GTC touchscreens. You would just go, and it just swaps it right into the clearance. If we want to put the ground frequency in, let's put it in standby, and that's ready to go. So we can kind of do it all here without having to actually type it in, which is kind of cool. Wichita, Eisenhower, and X ray, one eight five three zero, wind one eight zero two one, gust three five, Susie one zero, one three thousand scattered, one six thousand scattered, ceiling two zero thousand broken, temperature two four, two point one four, altimeter two nine or four four. Advance contact you have X ray. Okay, X ray, so they're landing south, nineteen left, nineteen right. We're gonna ask for nineteen left because uh we're going to the Textron Service Center, so they're right next to one on our left. So yeah, uh, 21 gusting 35. It's uh, a little gusty down there on the ground today, so should be good. We'll get uh, ground up there. That's good, and we'll start running some checklists. We'll do a descent checklist here. Windshield defog systems as required. Pressurization verify landing field elevation is good. All right, altimeters are good. Exterior lights are coming to recon. Good. Okay. So, we'll put the approach in here. Put the ILS uh, one nine or left. When we do land, uh, we'll land nineteen left. We'll probably take Mike six. We won't hit the brakes hard. Mike six, Mike Tech Shelter Service Center is right off Mike three. So, that should work uh, beautifully. I know a couple of, a couple people have asked uh, in prior like maintenance drop off videos. Kind of, um, how do I get how I get home or whatever it might be. So. I'm and I'd be catching an airline flight out of uh, out of Wichita International Airport uh, in uh, about two hours and 45 minutes and uh, be uh, airlining back into New York uh, tonight. So that's what's going on on that. And uh, I, I remember I got like 30 comments about when we dropped it off with that snowstorm video at Stewart. And I, there's a Textron service center that's pretty close to New York City and... Uh, I did. Uh, I did take an Uber. I Ubered home. So that was how I got home that day. That was like two years ago. It was crazy. How time flies. All right. Checklist is good. Right, Everything's nine, one, good. Nine, nine, whiskey, which correction, uh, contact advance, approach control one two six point seven five. Move this around here. The sun was kind of super strong, so we're kind of using that to glare it away. But now we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna go through these clouds. We'll put the engine and TA switches on. Yeah, so when you're coming in and it's gusty winds like this, you know, you're going to keep a little extra speed on final, especially when you have 7,000 feet of runway to work with. So uh, our VREF speed was 100 knots. We'll probably come in at 110, 115, just to make sure that there's any wind shear. Uh, we're protected on that. Uh, if we come in a little fast, that is why. Never want to come in slow in a situation like this. 
Yep, there are the bumps. Just thinking about I might, uh, when I come to Wichita, one of my, my treat is I go to Freddy's uh, steak burger and uh, shakes and the frozen custard and all that stuff. So I think I'm gonna try and maybe take the crew car from the service center and go get some, uh, some Freddy's. Uh, I think their stuff is so good. I love their frozen custard. Ugh. Oh. Amazing. Camp City Bonanza 1535. I don't know why I just thought about that, but I did. And it's definitely going to have to go make an appearance there and get some food before I head over to the terminal. Number two, Romeo Foxtrot, Wichita Approach, 134.5. 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 Wichita Approach, 134.
That's awesome. Southwest crew, ATC, awesome. Love it. All right. We're gonna get to below 161 knots so we can do our last notch of flaps, which gets into the landing configuration. All right, below 161 knots, flaps 35, landing checks are complete. Verifying again, the gear down three green, no red. 35, lights on, looking good. Autopilot, your dampener is away. Here we land. We're gonna slowly, gradually bring that speed back, but it's not going to be abrupt. Five hundred. Central traffic has a set information convex to six or center weather advisor one zero one for cameras around the states. More information available on flight search frequencies. Now we're going to start slowing it back. Minimums, minimums. Landing. One hundred. We seven four zero kilo, which to tower wind one eight zero two five get three one only one nine left line plate. Line of point one nine left, four zero kilo. Speed brakes are out. Whew. That was sporty. Citation 2 Romeo Fox, where's they parking? The good old tech shop, service center, 2 Romeo Fox. Citation 2 Romeo Fox, I turn left, Mike 6, contact ground, I'll see ya. Mike 6, go to ground, 2 Romeo Fox, see ya. Right. Clear 740 Kilo, wind 18025, gust 31, fly runway heading, runway 19 left, clear for takeoff. Clear takeoff, 19 left, 40 Kilo. Okay, going to ground, clear for the runway. Sky condition, 13000. Ground, good afternoon, citation to Romeo Foxshot, declare 19 left for the Textron Service Center. Citation to Romeo Foxshot, which said ground, good afternoon, Dexter Park, you Mike. Okay, Mike to Parky, thanks. Good day, to Romeo Fox. Clear right, clear left, clear to taking off the runway, we're going to the Ground center. Diamond Twin 671, Charlie Bravo with Yankee, Alpha 6, ready to attack. Diamond Twin 671, Charlie Bravo, Wichita Ground, runway 19 left. Well, everyone, Alpha welcome two, to Alpha. Wichita, Kansas. Hope you enjoyed the flight. Really do appreciate it. If you did like the video, please hit that subscribe button down below, hit that thumbs up. And uh, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see everyone on the next video. Take care. Thank you. And we'll see Toromeo Fox in about a week or so once it's done with its maintenance inspections here at Wichita's uh, Textron Service Center.